Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. On this channel, we talk life, food, family, and fun. And today we're doing something fun. Do you ever sit and wonder if those Pinterest hacks really actually work? Or if somebody just stuck it on the internet and assumed that everybody thinks that if it's on the internet, it must be true? Well, today we are trying three banana hacks to see if they are holy grails or epic fails. Wanna know what they are? Stay tuned and let's do this. Okay, so my kids are off of school for the winter break, and so I'm trying to find some things for them to do. And I thought, hey, these are my little monkeys. Monkeys like bananas. Let's just find out if there's some banana hacks online. So we scoured the internet, and there's one where um, you use a banana peel to whiten your teeth. Mm, I don't know about that one. But we wanted to test ones that were immediate. So we've picked three, and here they are. The first one is wrapping the ends of your bunch of bananas to keep them from ripening too quickly and giving them a little bit longer shelf life in your kitchen. Let's go see if it works. All right, hack number one is to put saran wrap around the top of your banana and it will help it to ripen slower and last longer. So what I've done is I've taken one bunch of bananas, this is from the same batch, and I've taken a couple of them off and just left them lying there not covered and taken the other ones and covered them. I bought these on Friday, it is now Tuesday, so we've had it for five days and frankly, it looks like the ones that were not wrapped are ripening slower than the ones that are wrapped. So, is this a holy grail or an epic fail? We're gonna go with epic fail. Banana. Okay, epic fail, it pretty much did the opposite. So maybe if you need something to ripen faster, I mean, I know that's not supposed to happen, but it literally ripened faster than the ones that were not wrapped. Now, I do know that you can do it with foil instead of saran wrap, so maybe that works. I don't know if you've tried that before and that works. Leave me a comment below and uh, tell me if it actually works. On to hack number two. So far, we have our first strike, three strikes and we are out. So hack number two is if you don't have eggs or you're vegan and you don't eat eggs or you're allergic to eggs or you hate eggs. We eat eggs. If you hate eggs and you wanna make cookies, you can use a half a banana for every egg that is required in the recipe. So I decided to do peanut butter cookies because I figured if I'm putting in a banana and there's gonna be some banana flavor in there, you might wanna pick some cookies that are compatible with banana. Like if you did a snickerdoodle and you used a banana instead of an egg, hmm, I don't know about that. But let's see if the peanut butter ones work. Okay, hack number two is if you don't have an egg but you wanna make cookies, Use a half of a banana in place of the egg and your cookies will turn out perfect. So we decided to do peanut butter cookies because if it has a little bit of banana flavor in there, peanut butter and banana go hand in hand. So I've got my half a banana in place of an egg. I am using a peanut butter recipe from livewellbakeoften.com and I'm doing exactly her recipe except for no egg, half a banana. So I'm gonna mix all these ingredients up, cook them up, and then we're gonna taste them and see if they're any good. Banana? Mm. 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 Smell me. Ooh, they're warm. What do you think? Mm. Are they good? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Do they taste like peanut butter? Yes, mm -hmm. but they also can taste, well, you can definitely taste banana too. No, right. it's like the slightest amount. Mm, Can't a banana? No, I can taste it pretty decently. But it's not hard though, it's very soft, which I like. What do you mean? What do you mean soft? Like Texture or nice subtle? Nice and crunchy. Like peanut butter cookies are usually really hard, right? Which These are really candy. soft. These are soft and delicious. But so still good with the banana flavor, but it definitely bit. tastes like banana. Yeah, you can definitely taste it. All right, holy grail or epic fail? Holy grail, holy grail. I don't know if it's a holy grail. Maybe it's a half holy grail, like it's a grail or just a holy, but it definitely works. But like I suspected, 
definitely has banana flavor. Now, it kind of tasted like a peanut butter banana bread in a cookie form, which I'm not mad about, but it definitely has banana flavor. So if you've got a banana chocolate chip or a banana peanut butter or something that tastes good with bananas, this hack works. So we are 50-50 now. On to number three, what's the tiebreaker? There's just nothing worse than when your kids are sitting on the couch, eating those banana peanut butter cookies, enjoying their favorite DVD, when all of a sudden it starts scratching. No, wait, I can fix it. Where's a banana? I'm sorry, what? Yeah, if you take a banana peel and you rub it all over that disc and then wipe it with a cloth, poof, the DVD's fixed. Let's see if it works. Oh my gosh, you guys, totally worked. And it was scratched. I mean, I showed you the before and the after, same footage, you just didn't see it all in the before because it scratched and stopped. But it totally worked. I mean, who sat around one day thinking, oh my gosh, my DVD is scratched. Maybe if I rub a banana on it, it'll fix it. Who thinks of this stuff? But I gotta say, it worked. <laughs> all right, so two for three, we didn't strike out. I call that a win. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about bananas and Pinterest hacks and that not everything on the internet is true. But some things are. And that's why we try this stuff. It's all for you. Otherwise, I hope you're having a great day. Stay inspired to rub some bananas on stuff, like your teeth and DVDs. Just don't do it using the same banana. That's kind of gross. But stay inspired and I'll see you in the next video. See ya. Banana.